I'm Aurika Sevitskaita, a co-founder of HelmetBasedVentilation.com. On our website, you will find research, infographics, medical guidelines about the helmet and non-invasive ventilation for the patient's COVID-19. Today, I will be talking about a helmet from a company, C-Long. So it comes in a kit and this is what it has. So as you can see, the helmet is two parts. And uh, before you're putting it on a patient, you wanna make sure that all these parts are connected and uh, the helmet is tested as any other helmets are. So these two parts clamp together and uh, and to make sure that it doesn't pop out from all the high pressure uh, in the kit we have a nice clips that you have to put on after you connect these places so here we go this is how it looks so we have uh, four of them and you put it around now, um, because helmets in the, are in a very short supply, I'm not going to cut a hole in this model, but uh, when you measure patient's neck, there is like a, a template, a guideline, that you, it shows you the line where you have to cut to make sure that it fits very well around the patient's neck. Also in this model, you can see that we added uh, two more optional ports for uh, your gases and for your output. So um, you can attach them on the bottom of the ring or you can attach them on the side. It has a patient access port. Um, it's just this little clip that you have to pull it out. If you wanted to suction the patient or if you wanna give him a sip of water or liquid diet. And it just puts back there. So other things that we have in the, in the helmet kit are is this special adapter. This is actually a very useful piece because as you saw in our um, infographics, we're using these connectors to make sure that uh, all the three gas sources are connected to the helmet. So this makes it easier for the clinician and actually it saves some supplies. So you can just connect it straight to the uh, helmet. So I'm going to use this helmet now because it was used on a patient. So I can just, um, it has a hole already. And this is the uh, older version of their helmet. It's right here, okay. So when I'm gonna put this on, um, so I noticed this is a uh, plastic part, the plastic ring. It's a little bit pressing on my shoulders. So you wanna make sure that you put something soft under so it doesn't bother the patient. And if I'm gonna lay back, this is, this is pretty comfortable. If uh, it's not, then you just put the uh, towel roll behind the head and it should work well. Okay, uh, other connectors that we have in the kit are also the filter, which is nice. So you can connect the filter here and the peep valve. So also there is a connector in between, so we fit. And this is how it can go here, right? Okay. So as you know, Sealong is one of the first ones who made the helmet. And it, this helmet was used for the University of Chicago research about helmet-based ventilation. Thank you.